welcome to Brothers in Gaming, a Team No Production. I am your host, Jack Blades. Here with me today, Mr. Rockros. And we are back with Crime and Punishment Sherlock Holmes. Now, we're still doing the uh, Black Carry or Black Peter mission. And from what we found out, uh, we found a bloody knife on the ground which had a sailor mark on it, which could have been from him. Yeah. A notebook that had J O M on it. J H N. J H M. And had some pretty strange numbers in it. Yeah. But one thing I noticed that it did not have his initials on there. Yeah. And there was a spear missing right there. And there was a, it looked like a box missing from that shelf. A chest. Yeah. Um. Well, um. Breaking attempts and notebook. It's just a matter of... Well... Hmm. Well, I don't know, like, that... I mean, I have the right... What about, uh, trying with the gardener? No gardener. And see if there's a connection. What I'm wondering is... Yeah, it looks like you might not have it included yet. Yeah, so... Might have to... Wait yeah. to make a deduction. Unless you're missing something. Which I think you've been pretty thorough. Because... Obviously... There's been a robbery yeah. on top of the murder. I think I did want to double check and see is... Yeah, see if the if boot prints fit. No. Oh, no. So the guy was bigger than him. Or at least, you know, had a bigger shoe. So, might be worth asking... Judith, if she knows. Well, did, did um, she say anything about him having any guests or people? Usually he does not have any guests. He's usually isolated by himself. Yeah, so. But one thing I'm wondering is what her maiden, ma maiden name is. Because her first name starts with a J. <gasps> yeah, that might actually... I didn't even think about that. Yeah, see what her full name is. I didn't even think about that. That's that's a nice little point. Okay. At least you're not having to do like I did. I'm I've been having to do an L.A. Noir. He was not a smoker, no gardener. Missing box. I wonder if that has to do with the. Okay, so. Okay, so it's not a. a connection. So that's just a process of elimination. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that definitely be a good have someone waiting in the cabin to see if whoever tried to break in make another attempt. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're solving mysteries. 
Mysteries. Yes, that was so. the Phantom Curse. So they're going in and out. I just wonder what's, what's over here, if that's the, if that's Judas area or what. I don't know. There's a lot of barrels. Yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty lush garden for... Hey, yeah, for one guy to tend to it, that's quite a bit. But, one yeah. thing I'm curious about... Because if he's breaking in and that gate is locked, how is he getting through that way? Or is he just jumping? Uh, probably just jumping. We already found out that that was not his. So it, somebody else was drunk or something trying to break in. Maybe someone came over in a drunken rage. <laughs> All right. Then she said. Then his wife was talking about a uh, tin box. Yeah, there should be a tin box, but I'm not sure if that's what was missing right there. Or... Well, might be worth looking at his effects in there. Yeah. It looks like there might be a tin box right there. Yeah. It's not gonna let me look in the uh, in there either, in the bag. Yeah, so probably what is taken. Wait, what was I gonna say? Cause yeah, cause I think you've pretty much gone over it. I can't find anywhere or any other sections or anything. That's the only thing that. It's not green yet. So. But I think there was something in the papers that. Ooh. I'm wondering, I'm trying to see if I can get to that picture. Because there are several pictures on the wall that I haven't had a chance to take a look at. Oh, uh, looks, looks like the one behind him is the whaling picture. It doesn't it look like it's going to let me, so. Mm -hmm. See if it'll let me look behind the house. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Look behind the house and found a perfect window. So we'll be able to see in exactly where the guy goes. Yeah. Or the girl, depending on who it is. Because right now, Judith is still on my suspect list. At least the co-conspirator. Yeah. Yeah, because she didn't seem exactly pleased being with him. 
And she didn't seem to be too upset that he was dead also. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, if you hear her scream, you don't just sit around for five hours. Yeah. Stop. 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 Shh. You're making noise. So I don't want me to do any type of scans or anything on him. No, you'll probably have to do that in the tomorrow morning bit. Which, he... I don't think he's actually the one who killed him, but I think he broke in looking for, you know, stuff. Got freaked out when he saw uh, Peter and dropped his notebook and was trying to come back for it. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that sounds at least semi-logical in my opinion. No, I'm, not, I'm not seeing any anything about Peter Carey not even Black Peter so I think he because it said that he dropped the notebook after the blood was already there yeah so so there's no way he could have done it otherwise the entire notebook would have been more covered yeah because I imagine that thing would have been just absolutely drenched So I think it would be better to get more information looking at the evidence first. Evidence room. Yeah, I think that'd be a pretty good start. Just right here. Yeah, it sounds like Sophie the team no dog is <laughs> getting a little whiny. What was that? So I'm going to head to the house real fast. So we have the knife of what he used to break in. Yeah. So. 
but because of the ban, I have to head to the head to the home real fast. Because if I look in the archives, I'll be able to see why he knows Rachel Dawson. Man, they're playing some good music outside. <laughs> yeah, they're playing Don't Fear the Reaper out there. Whenever I hear that song, I cannot help but think of The Stand. I'm going to watch that movie again. It's yeah. been a long while. Yeah. I was like, I've been mean to sit down and watch it since I've been reading the book. I just saw something that was pretty cool. Hmm. Whenever the game is loading, it still allows you to look at the, uh... The evidence? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that's a... Uh, I was commenting on earlier. I think that's a pretty good little concept right there. Oh, blood test. Oh, that is cool. You can do all kinds of stuff. Martial arts. Sedate and kill. Fine. Um, uh, I'll keep going over. Oh, that's what I need to do. No more. Oh. Because I'm. I was going to say, did I see something about. What was it, relay? Isn't that something with Cthulhu? I think so. Because I believe that's where Cthulhu's home is. I might be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, 1883. Dawson. Dawson and Nagelian are bankrupt. That's the name of the kid. Well, Dawson's the wife or the girlfriend. From our Dawson. Because Joshua and... Yeah, because it was like Joshua H. something. Yeah, so that's about him. Okay, so... Okay. So he was a banker at first. And now he's trying to... So I wonder if there's papers that he needed out of that. Oh, yeah, because I imagine there were some pretty important financial papers there. So now we know a little bit more about him. Yeah, because I thought it was just some random punk. But now, knowing that he's, a, well, at least an ex-banker. So. Stop. 
that firm. Yeah, I think you might have to go in there because that's the inspector of the on. There's the morgue. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, so yeah, maybe you can go ahead and talk to him. Just the interrogation room, but... Maybe he is in there. Inter... I was oh, just yeah. looking around first. Wait, did it say John? Well, his first name is John. I thought it was Joshua. He may have changed it. Well... Maybe... Might be a younger brother, possibly. Well, I'm gonna think. Oh wait, turn on the arm. That's a fabric. He was a banker. True. Ooh, oh yeah. It's not good. Definitely see some working with his hands. Mm -hmm. and, uh, okay, there's some metal. Mm -hmm. well, look around and see if there's any. How old is he? I wonder what. I wonder if he was on a ship. If the sea unicorn. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. Well, said that he took a small yacht, and Hammerfest is part of the whaling map. Their account numbers for the bank. Oh, that makes sense. It doesn't seem like you'd be strong enough to mm. nail them with a harpoon. No. mother <laughs> it's gotta be one of these two but I think yeah. it might be that one um oh, actually actually it might be his father's jacket because it seems to be a little well done plus with short sleeves it's obviously a hand-me-down. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would say it'd be the father's jacket. I think it's really annoying. Sorry about that.
that's how they got the calluses. Yeah. Cleaning fish. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Calluses and scars. sense for the break in the tents. But maybe it was the notebook. Swift actions lead to him being pinned to the wall. Yeah, so maybe in a burst of adrenaline. But That's probably something else I need to investigate. <laughs> so now we get to try to throw a harpoon at Watson apparently <laughs> yeah he'll be thrilled <laughs> it seems like there might be something else though does prove that Whoever. he's been trying to break in to get the notebook but mm. so one thing we're not sure on is if the notebook was stolen who had it and or if it was actually Peter Carey that had it yeah just eliminate everything else yeah So it kind of has kind of a spider webbing effect going on. Yeah. Um. So, as we head off to the home again, this will have to be for the next episode. Yes. So, join us again next time. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. And we'll see you then. Peace. To be continued. Mwah.